It's not just a game. It is bigger than a game. And people don't get that. I'm a fiery head coach. St. Augustine Yellow Jackets head coach Brian Braddock was full of emotion before his team took to the field in their state championship game. And for good reason. It's the last game of the season for high school football players. Win or lose, there will not be another game this season. For many players, it's the last high school football game they will ever play. Receiving that golden medal and hoisting that championship trophy at the end of the year is the height of some of these players' athletic careers, but it's not an easy feat. Let's go ahead and bring in Stuart Weber, shall we? We sent three teams to Tallahassee this past week, and he's going to put a bow on the state champion series for us. Well, another year and another goose egg when it comes to state championships in the state of Florida for our local teams. A year ago, none of them even made it to this stage in the new suburban metro classification system. Well, this year, 0 for 3 with Mandarin, St. Augustine, and Bradford all coming up short in their trip to Tallahassee. Let's talk about some of those runs that they made. Let's start with the Mandarin Mustangs, who just had a tremendous, tremendous postseason, winning all four games on the road and looking at times dominant until they ran up against a Columbus Explorers squad, the same team, by the way, that they beat in 2018 for the state championship. That was a different year, different squad, and the quarterback for Columbus in 2023, Alberto Mendoza. Wow, what a game he had running the option, holding on to it when he needed to, and handing it off when he needed to as well, especially in the red zone, letting his running backs take the glory in the end zone. And look, no matter no matter how great a season is, when you come up that little bit short, it is absolutely going to sting. And that's the case for the Mandarin Mustangs, who fall in the state championship game against Columbus. And it was up and down. We started hot, had a couple low moments, got hot again. Uh, they've done something no one else has done, four wins on the road, and we just came up short. This is terrible. I just want you to know. I don't know how college guys do it. This is awful. As for the Bradford Tornadoes, they were so hell-bent on getting that revenge against the Coco Tigers, who knocked them out of the playoffs a year ago in the state semifinals. And look, Bradford put together that undefeated run all the way to the state championship game and unfortunately fall once again against Coco. Despite that, you still have to enjoy all the memories for this Bradford team. They make a tremendous run that the folks in Stark won't forget for sometime. Big Red was here live and well tonight. I think they had double the amount, triple the amount maybe that uh, the other team had and uh, it's the biggest crowd I've seen. I could feel it when, they, when we made a big play and they, start, they started pushing us. The energy was awesome. As for our other undefeated team coming into the week, St. Augustine, the Yellow Jackets, well man, they started it absolutely as great as you possibly could. Two special teams touchdowns as they go up 13-0 at the half in their state championship matchup, but Man, once they got to the second half and that Daytona mainland squad got it rolling, it was extremely difficult to stop going all the way down to the last play. Oh, the last play. A game-winning field goal that gave the win to the Bucks and sent St. Augustine to its first loss of the season. You don't know what to say at a time like this. Um, if, if there was anything we could do to change any, you know, one play that would change the outcome, we'd do it. And, um, these kids are special. Um, it's hard. You don't always get what you've worked for. And um, sometimes you don't even get what you think maybe you deserved. And, um, credit to Mainland. Um, they came back and they made, uh, made one more play than we did. And um, it's tough. As for next year, we certainly hope we get another great run for our local teams, and we also hope that they learn how to turn down the speakers at Florida A&M's Bragg Memorial Stadium. Very loud. My ears still hurt, and it's a day later. That's your wrap-up from the state championships in Tallahassee. For Action Sports Jacks, I'm Stuart Weber. Action Sports Jacks primetime, Saturday at 10.30 on Fox 30.